Stewart, here he gets the 21 lifted up off the ground. Trouble in turn three, a huge multi-car crash. Sounds like Stewart started it all. He started a lot of things this year. You know, everybody can say what they want, and the fans are going to say what they want, too. Contact, Cody Stewart and the two of Rusty Wallace. The Stewart guy, man, I'll tell you, I don't, I don't know what's going on there. I like to take that finger and jam it right his rear end, I'll tell you that. Oh, and Stewart gets together with Gordon. That wasn't even close. That's pathetic. i tell you, I don't know what's wrong with that boy. Let's get out trackside live. Join Matt Yoakum, who's with Tony Stewart. Matt? Chris, a few random incidents, starting with Bristol. And Tony, are people making too much about the on-track stuff, or there may be some hidden frustrations over the fact you haven't won yet this year? Ah, there's no hidden frustrations. I, I think the people that are blowing it out of proportion are, uh, you know, Mike Joy and Larry McReynolds and Daryl Waltrip in the booth. Nobody else has been complaining about it. Uh, you know, Daryl, or not Daryl, but Rusty and I talked uh, when we saw each other, uh, you know, two days ago at the airport. And we were just kind of laughing about it and shook hands and went on. And, you know, our fans of Sedalia, Missouri and, uh, and uh, Knoxville, Iowa, that came out to watch us run the sprint car, they stood out in the rain for a half hour in, in the rain to get autographs. So, uh, I just, it's funny. I keep watching the replays of the race after I get home and listening to Daryl and Mike Joy and McReynolds. It's like uh, you keep watching the screen waiting on Tattoo to come by and his little white tuxedo welcoming everybody to Fantasy Island. Uh, Matt, uh, ask, ahead, ask Tony. Tell him this is a reality show. And, uh, you know, what we just talk about what I told him this the other night when I was talking to him. We just talk about what we see. And the one thing we see is a common denominator of him involved with a lot of other folks. You know, so, I, I mean, we're not picking on him. We're just telling what we see. DW says, Tony, that he's not picking on you. He just is seeing what the video shows. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Daryl's memory kind of gets a little screwed up sometimes. I guess he forgets that with all the rule changes he wants NASCAR to make, he forgets that if they changed the rules and took the champions provisional away, he wouldn't have been able to race the last two years. So uh, uh, I know Daryl's doing what he has to do at his job, but uh, I think there's a lot of times what you see on the screen isn't the whole total story, and I think they've uh, I think they've done a real good job in the booth of blowing things away out of proportion like they normally do. I guess that's probably what they need for ratings, which uh, I think our sport's doing a pretty good job of ratings without having to butcher up uh, what they see on the screen.